Namaste everyone. See, there is nothing like studying Vivekananda. You know, it, it's really like a fire moving through your veins. If you study him, I'm telling you, your, your brain will remain clear of all clutter and your energy will be in full bloom and the mind will be fresh and pure always. That is the power of Vivekananda. And even if we are exposed to a few ideas, especially see young, you are young people. I'm so glad that you feel so much for this, that you are all present at uh, this lecture series. It is so very important at this age to develop an idealistic view of life. So even a little bit of study of Vivekananda will give you that, uh, you know, it will put you above the mediocre, above the rest. Because this is the power of spirituality, your own real nature. That power is being brought out. And you will be successful anywhere. Because if you have a clear mind, you know, that is the greatest thing for success. So uh, I am working across so many institutions, not because, uh, well, actually I went into it, but because so many institutions are asking for these thoughts. And in a, in a completely scientific paradigm, you, you just heard a whole lot of IITs are interested in this. We are offering courses across these institutions and the books for the courses are also now available on Amazon. You can go in for that if you want. Science of Happiness is a coursework which is available on Amazon. So the whole idea is to bring these thoughts into the mainstream academia so that youngsters like you can remain inspired by high thoughts, high literature and don't give in to silly emotions, all kinds of things which today's media exposes you to and don't drain away your energies. Uh, if at this age you develop this uh, kind of an orientation, I think that is the greatest, that will be the greatest blessing of your life. So today we are going to discuss personality development. Uh, and this is a very important topic for young people. See, this is the time when your personality is forming. And tomorrow using this personality in this world, you will achieve a lot. But then you must have very clear ideas about who you are, what your personality is about. So here again, we will go into what Vivekananda says. See, in the general world outside, personality means this body-mind complex. This is all they understand by personality. Hmm? The, uh, this body and this mind together make my personality. But your own spiritual heritage Vedant will tell you, body and mind are your instruments. They are not just your uh, you. They are instruments in your hands as it were. You are the soul, you are the Atman functioning through a body-mind complex. So you must take care of the body and mind. Let them achieve full development. Let them achieve proper orientation towards the goals of your life. But you must always remember this like a background thought that in my real nature, I am the immortal soul functioning through this body-mind complex. This, you know, gives enormous strength in all kinds of situations in life. You may be still too young to understand this, but I'm telling you, whenever you are faced with delicate situations, problems, all kinds of anxiety, stress, and tomorrow in the workplace, so many challenges, you will see situations, uh, any kind of situation you can handle if you know somewhere there is a deep stillness within you, a quietness, and you are actually functioning through this body-mind complex from there. This is such a relief, such a boost for your energies. So our model of personality development, the Vedantic model of personality development is a little different from what is understood by personality in uh, Western philosophies. It's not just body and mind. Functioning, you are functioning through a body-mind complex. You, the Atman, pure awareness, functioning through a body-mind complex. So this, even if it is at present just a background idea, it will strengthen you from within. A kind of moral capacity. You know very well that life is not just about satisfying the body and mind. This kind of an orientation naturally comes into your life due to your self-identity. 
So it may be an intellectual concept in our mind just now, but it is a concept about the truth. So it matters. And the first principle I would say of your personal for your personality development is goal orientation. Once you understand that human life is precious, you are a soul coming into this earth for a definite great achievement. And you will not simply give in to all sorts of uh, uh, emotions and rubbish, but you will def have a great life in front of you. Then you will orient your body and mind naturally towards the great goals of your life. See, this lack of goal orientation is what drives young people astray. Even in these IITs, there, even the suicide rates are so high for this simple reason, your, your concept of yourself is first of all not clear and your goals are not clear. There are what are called um, temporary goals and there are there is a permanent goal to your life. There is a short term goal and there is a long term goal. The long term goal of any human life is always spiritual. If you don't recognize yourself as spirit, you will never become sensitive to this goal. But the short term goals of your life are as students, immediately it will be to get a good job, to earn well for your family, and then to establish yourself well in this world. Yes, these are all covetable goals of your life. So have this kind of a broad range view, uh, a wide range angle vision, I would say, where you understand what are your immediate goals, short term goals, which will establish you well, you and your family in this world and the long term goal of complete fulfillment of human life, which turns out to be a spiritual goal. Not that we are inventing a, a spiritual goal. Human life attains fulfillment after its survival needs are met only in spirituality. And that is why that becomes the ultimate goal of life. So this is how in our scriptures, in our spiritual heritage, the human life has been described. That there are four goals, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Moksha is always the ultimate goal. And dharma, artha and kama are to be attained here through your education, through your goal orientation, through taking your body and mind into your hands, through direct being able to direct your thoughts towards your goals constantly. And if you keep your goals shining and in like a, like a lighthouse in front of you, naturally your energies will move towards that. It is only our ability not to conceive of the goal that makes us go into all kinds of paths in life so goal orientation that is why for young people it is a it is a very important thing always what in the next five years what do i want to achieve this is what i want to do even if your goal is to uh, see don't feel shy of uh, uh, wanting a goal like a, a six-figure salary for a young person it is important because you are going to support families, you are going to have your own family tomorrow. It is important to earn money and it is important for the nation. Then after that, but you should be able to conceive that after this what? And then the, your long, short term and long term goals will be clear to you. So this is the first thing I would say about goal orientation. I can go into some stories here, but I can see you are a group of very concentrated people. You don't require stories to illustrate points, isn't it? Make these few things clear in your mind that I will achieve my goal. I will achieve my goals in life. I will understand the sheer glory and uh, the importance of this life. Remember, it's a always remember human life is very, very precious. Every minute is precious in your life. So make sure you are always oriented towards what you want to achieve in life. If you are like this, your energies will remain in your hands. Otherwise, I see in IIT, they have entered into engineering streams, but they are wanting to get out of it because goal orientation is not there. So this is the first thing I will tell you about goal orientation. Uh, complete your your mentally complete the picture of your immediate goals short term goals and your long term goal you see ke liye, for this reason only you require vivekananda okay this is mangalore university so nan sarpa kannadadal maatadabodu i don't have to keep talking hindi <laughs> so it is important to conceive of the goal 
ನಿಮ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ಹೌ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ವಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಯು so take care of what you think what you will repeatedly think you will become that you know this is a law this is the law of positive thinking there is a small uh, video on youtube uh, it is called the miracle of positive thinking please watch that video when you are free miracle of positive thinking there i have given you the principles of positive thinking just through your thought process you can attain anything you want in life if you have given it sufficient thought you have given it sufficient vitality vital energy so it will become a reality in your life so the very first principle of positive thinking is what you will repeatedly think you will become that you will realize that then you can be sure you give it sufficient thought it will become real it will materialize in your life it will become reality for you you remember this uh, story of shri ramakrishna uh, it is there in kathamrit even in uh, uh, even swami vivekananda used to quote this story see there was a, a woodcutter who went to a forest and there he he was cut, his job was to cut a lot of wood in those days uh, you know they did not have so many such uh, meager green cover so they would cut a lot of wood and bring it to their villages and sell so he would every day go there and do that one day he felt very tired and lay down under a tree a uh, huge tree was there he lay down under the tree and suddenly he started thinking uh, oh this ground is so hard i wish it was little soft uh, i i could rest my back it is aching and then suddenly he saw a couch came up there you know soft bed it, it just came up so he thought what miracle is this id yellinda bantu heg bantu and uh, what what do i do now then he thought are i just thought and this happened I, if only there was some good food now around me i'm so hungry and tired and immediately you know a whole array of very good dishes and uh, everything that he would want that came automatically around him then he asked for drink and so many types of juices and uh, wines and all sorts of drinks got arranged around him then he thought oh if somebody pressed my aching legs and a, a whole lot of servants came and started uh, pressing his legs then he realized that you know something miraculous is going on here this is a very special place he did not know he was sitting under a kalpa viksha <laughs> you know kalpa viksha it is the wish fulfilling tree whatever you sit under uh, and think under that tree and you think that will materialize but then suddenly he thought oh my god whatever i think is coming true what if a tiger comes here now then what will i do it's a forest and a tiger came there and pounced on him and it seems he ate him up now this kalpa viksha tree under which he was sitting shri ramakrishna says that is your mind that is your mind whatever you will think it will materialize conscious thought process you know that is the culmination of our cognitive development if you have studied cognitive psychology you will understand after eons and eons of evolution today we have this tremendous cognitive capacity of the human brain that our thought can be so refined so clear so absolute pointed that you can achieve anything it is like a weapon you can achieve anything through that thought process but if you waste that thought on this silly uh, stupid uh, uh, multimedia thing which constantly is falling on you it is sheer waste of human energy i am telling you lift yourself from that and bring conscious noble thoughts into your minds great goals into your minds day and night and you will achieve them it is the energy that you provide to them that materializes that is why vivekananda said take care of what you think because you are verily what your thoughts have made you so take care of what you think what you repeatedly think you will become 
See, very important law. How much of conscious thought you provided to anything that to that extent you will be successful in that thing. Even to, uh, in your studies, you, you apply this and see. Tomorrow in your workplace, you will see the same thing is true. In your relationships, you will see the same thing is true. In your family, the same thing is true. Where you have invested thought, there things work, start working. So conscious thought process, it requires orientation. It requires commitment. It requires training. Otherwise, uh, somehow thinking, uh, hazy thinking, not clear about anything, some stupid goal you uh, run after because somebody told you or you are not at all clear about the goals of your life. Don't waste your life like this. Vivekananda used to say your life is in your hands. And through your thought process, you will create a great life for yourself. What you repeatedly think, you will verily become. Hmm? That is why so important. You see this Vivekananda study circle of Bangalore University. It is, I'm, I'm telling you to really save the atmosphere of the university. For the simple reason, it is so important to direct your thoughts along right lines at this age. They are asking us to create such uh, courses across universities in India now. You know, every day I am working with universities and I regularly work with IIT Delhi and uh, SSU in Katak. And there's another university coming up here, Rishihood. They also want these things. Like this, so many are asking for this. For this reason alone, human energy, especially this youthful energy, has to be directed in a particular way for productive good work to happen for your own life to become great and ennobled and don't waste it the kind of uh, today it's frightening the kind of exposures you get and th there are also you know there are in the us there are internet de-addiction centers so why go into such meaningless problems it is so very important to guide your thought process and repeated positive thinking See, in this COVID pandemic, I hope you have not done the mistake. That's why we released that video of constantly brooding over something negative. If you can change the situation, go ahead and do it. If you can't, stop your negative thinking and learn to think positively. Now, Russia, Ukraine, war is going on. Don't sit in your home and uh, don't do all this. You Can you change the situation? No, sitting in Mangalore, you can't change the situation. So better pray and think positive. Do something productive and positive and efficient hmm? and don't dwell on negativity. Now, yes, to negative thinking, Marthi, now you don't know your life will move in that direction. Now, uh, worry, anxiety, fear, all this will come naturally with negative thinking. So, your life starts backsliding. After some time, you understand, Ayo, India kaito, nana. You gave it power. See, your, your mind has this capacity. It will not judge between the quality of your thought. Wherever you invested energy, that will materialize. So even if you don't want something to happen, you gave it so much thought out of fear and worry, it can happen. So for learn the art of positive thinking. Every day, affirmative meditations. There is a name for this. Every day, learn to think positively. How blessed I am in this life. I am receiving a good education. I have such a good uh, family background. I have full support of my family. I am in full uh, charge of my body-mind complex. I am blessed. If you learn to think like this, and then I can do anything and everything. All power is within me. Vivekananda says this so many times, all power is within you. You can do anything and everything because I function through this body-mind complex. I will achieve my goals in life. I will dedicate my life to higher causes and I will achieve them. There is no defeat for me. There are only lessons in life. There is no defeat. And I can do anything and everything. Because all power is within me. The very source of power is within me. These are called affirmative meditations. 
ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ವೈ ರಷ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುಕ್ರೇನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ದೀಸ್ ಎಫರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಟು ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಅವೇ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ವರ್ಷ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾಕಾಯ್ತು ನಾನು ಈ ತರ ಯೋಚಿಸಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಯು ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗದು ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಯು ಡಿನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವೈಟಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅನ್ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಈ ಲಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಚೀವ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೊರೋಲರೀಸ್ ಇದೆ ಈ ಲಾಗೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ what you what you repeatedly feel mm. feeling also is thought with emotion is called feeling so what you repeatedly feel that you will experience id nodi dira nim nim jeevanalle nodi what you repeatedly feel in some form you will keep ex- experiencing that and in a big way you will experience it the more you uh, start feeling those same emotions the more that experience becomes real to you because your consciousness got focused on that so your feeling and thought process and feeling is also a thought only thought with emotion is called feeling this should be consciously directed hmm this should be consciously directed there are questions coming in but let us take that up later uh, now just focus on these principles of positive thinking see your thought and feeling if they are consciously directed you will achieve your goals and every day you will refresh yourself renew yourself otherwise that same brooding that same negativity it will build up like stress then frustration then depression ee tara this is the sequence so idu you completely avoid maadabodu just by following these principles of positive thinking what i think repeatedly i will become what i feel repeatedly i will experience in my life so my thought and my feeling i have to be very careful most most important and powerful weapons are not that those war machines not those bombs they are your thought process idu new train madta idre you can be sure it will you will lead a very mediocre life if you consciously train these things just follow these principles through training uh, affirmative meditation and hear them ad maadi throughout the day maintain that positive mindset you will see in a, in a week's time you will become a, a real uh, powerful personality who can achieve anything in life just through your thought process yavaglu nan adu maadabodu adu sadhya nanage and aa tarane yoshne maadbeku ಇಲ್ಲ ನಂಗೆ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ನೋಡೋಣ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಯಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಯೂತ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಎನಿ ಗೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಮಾಡಿ but adu perfect do it perfectly and contribute greatly to society through that this will enrich your life but vivekananda expected this from you isn't it uh, my my hope is in the uh, next young generation swami ji helta idru out of that then will come my workers my lions he would say so complete dedication to your duty whatever you take up and this goal orientation seeing the big picture handling body mind complex and thought process especially in a mature conscious manner this will ensure your success anywhere it is more powerful than anything in your hands it is it is the actual uh, weapon in your hands to change your life remember this your thoughts your life will follow your thoughts and your thoughts do not follow your life 
ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಅನ್ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೋ ಲೈಫ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದು ಏನೋ ಒಂದ್ ಚಿಂತೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದರ್ ನೋ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲಿ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ಲಿ with your entire vitality in your hands again and again that is why never leave this vivekananda literature chik chik pustakalu ive small small books on personality development mind control idella itkoli nimma maneyalli whenever you feel a little down you don't uh, you feel distracted you take up one and read one powerful nugget of wisdom idu maartta idre this positive thinking will become part of your life third principle of positive thinking is what you repeatedly imagine that you will create you know it not only idu sarina ilva nam life alli has it worked or not what you have repeatedly imagined that you will actually create so your imagination don't waste it on all sorts of things let your imagination be towards your goals you should dream big you know dr abdul kalam he used to say a small aim is a crime you dream big for yourself and your country and value based youth force is the game changer in any country and with a spiritual heritage like you have what values do you lack i'm asking you uh, with personalities like vivekananda behind you what do you lack so you must not fail in this hmm? always think big aim high and remember these principles of positive thinking any situation in your life you you will overcome and move towards uh, what is better and better through these principles of positive thinking so what what did i tell you what you repeatedly think you will become what you repeatedly feel you will experience you will learn to manifest that because you experience you will start experiencing it in your life it will become real to you and what you repeatedly imagine that you will create see how simple it is it, it only means you must take charge of your thought process conscious thought is the key to great achievement that is why vivekananda said have faith in yourself <laughs> your mind can work magic for you if you have faith in all the gods <laughs> we have so many gods no you have faith in all of them but you are not sure about yourself naan yenu madak agalla devre ella madbeku anta aa tara on philosophy ni maarkon bitre really i am telling you you will not be you won't even have true worship of god first you should become somebody to be able to worship god isn't it the very principle of worship is devam bhutva devam yajet you become godly to worship god so first bring this faith into yourself i can do anything and everything because i am the soul i am the atman i am a spark of divinity functioning through this body mind complex and if i have my thought process in my hands by understanding these principles of thinking then you can achieve anything in life never doubt this you maar nodi nimgene gotagutte only thing is we nobody points this out see this is essential part of education you must remember no don't think one special course hakbitu adralli idu yaar beko tagotare no 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 whether you are engineer engineering students medical students or management business yenadru whatever you are studying you must know these principles because they are life changers life changing principles and it is your mind please remember don't make it a, a dustbin keep it clear keep it pure and bring this positive thinking into it hmm? today you have all kinds of exposures adike this kind of a uh, you know understanding the present scenario this is what i would say on personality development that 
it is not something that you must believe it is a fact that you are meant to achieve great things and your all that is required for that is your mind should function in a particular way mind not functioning properly towards your goals is what is called disaster there are no disasters outside war is not the ultimate disaster you should remember but your mind and your intelligence turning against yourself is the ultimate disaster hmm? so for your intelligence to function like that you must train it every day e uh, affirmative meditations practice them vivekananda literature if you take up constantly swami ji has spoken about this isn't it hmm one kade swami ji helidare you see how beautiful the words are he says call upon the sleeping soul and see how it awakens power will come glory will come goodness will come purity will come all that is excellent will come once the soul is aroused to self conscious activity which means when the atma bal now helti valva and the the inner soul has awakened to the sheer glory of human life you you will become more and more conscious from within so you are able to direct your thought process very well and you will get all of this power glory goodness everything will come into your life naturally so awaken this soul power your concept of yourself should be with, see this is unique indian model of personality development you should remember because if you go to the west then you will understand this ali persa persona itself means a mask <laughs> you know greek actors used to function through masks uh, those days you know when the stage used to be there they had to uh, now if that actor is a king has to function like king so he, he wears mask of king and he speaks so you know king is speaking then he has to become a queen has to speak so he puts down that mask and puts queen's mask now queen is speaking athara avaru acting martta idro in those times so that mask was called persona our this body mind complex that is also a mask you are wearing don't think you are only wearing that covid mask <laughs> this body mind itself is like a mask to whom to you the soul you are wearing this mask you are functioning through it see your mind has so many identities have you seen this today our students it is so much more will build up today the identity is restricted to well family background and whatever you are achieving just now tomorrow it will be so huge this qualification that qualification these degrees that uh, award uh, that in you are ceos of this company so such huge identities you will have but you should know they are all masks ivag mask kelagade ido capacity irbeku so that you are originally yourself isn't it hmm? a covid mask if it sticks to your uh, face how it will be atharane if you are not able to put down your identities and just be who you are pure awareness pure being the soul then uh, you will mess up with so many things hmm? see you may be boss in your workplace but in your home can you be boss somebody else is boss there <laughs> isn't it <laughs> so you can't wear the same mask in all places adike adanna tagdu kelgade ido capacity irbeku so your identities remember are always variables changeables but your being the, the core of your personality the atman that is an invariable it is always the same you are the immortal soul of the nature of pure awareness which is immutable which does not change which is without even attributes it is pure luminosity pure consciousness this is your real nature it is the source of all power or vitality all strength so adar jothe nim connection itre you will remain stable in life otherwise constantly you know, somebody said something some somebody thought something about me or uh, workplace i got banged all that doesn't matter 
ಈ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೂಟೆಡ್ ಇದು ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸತಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಇದು ದಟ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ರೂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇದೇ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಇದ್ರೆ ಯುವರ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಸಿ ದ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಹಾ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡೆಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೇವಾ ಭಾವ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಎಂಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ when your mind is deeply conscious not stupidly identified with this and that deeply conscious from within you will become the home of values naturally in the sattvic orientation ban bidute life alli so youth is the time when you should not miss this uh, great opportunity you know you will really live well a conscious life is an intelligent life it is a life worth living this is the time you should be sparkling with intelligence and not stupidly conditioned with some silly thought process which is carrying you somewhere so uddhare atmana atmanam raise yourself by yourself uh, youth means like that so totally goal oriented see some people i have seen like this in today's universities also they are there absolutely focused one pointed ಆ ತರ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡಬಹುದು ಹೌ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟಿಪ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ದೇರ್ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸೊ take care of the company you keep and what you are exposed to the literature you read the uh, sense intake from the multimedia all this will affect your thought process adike achandogi upanishadal ide aahara shuddho sattva shuddhi yav tara aahara tagotiro aa tara nim sattva agutte aahara andre bari uta madodalla anything you take through your senses is aahara Mm, what you see is ahar what you because it is going in and nourishing your mind or uh, debilitating your mind so yav tara whether you are having nutritious food or junk food ha yav tara ahara tagota idira adr mele one check idi and if you take only sattvic ahar from all your senses the mind will remain sattvic the simple principles of good living we are not able to put into practice because the lack is in the educational process this this should be part of mainstream education adike how to handle your mind and the principles of thought but we conveniently ignore this to our own that's why that's why we are moving like this you see huh? towards war towards collision towards all kinds of problems hmm? you must achieve this in youth and your life is made i'm telling you it will be a wonderful experience of life if your mind starts functioning like this so keep in touch with practical tips keep in touch with vivekananda literature and be remain in good company every day some form of yoga and self affirmation meditations and good exposures youtube alli ivaga eshtu olle olle lectures ide ಅಂಥದ್ದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಾಮಸಿಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓವರ್ ಪವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಚೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ಚೂಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಯುವರ್ part and parcel this is the way to personality development 